Bum bum nuke. Who's nuking? Snake got nuked. Oh, snake. You nuked up its capital. Oh! Sneaky snake. Daltos. He still might be able oh, to do sneaky it, Sneaky bastard. <laughs> Ireland has suggested we repeal the embargo on Ireland. <laughs> I would like I would like to have money now. They would. I think I have gone long enough without pocket money, and I would I would like to have pocket money. I agree with that. Let's repeal. Who's the closest to winning? Who shall I toady? Toady me. I could use a toady. Lewis has got two. That's true. Duncan doesn't have any toadies. <laughs> okay, Duncan. It's only, it's only even. Don't say I got two toadies. <laughs> who are my toadies? Spiff and Daltos, who both have open borders. Daltos is not. Daltos has not been toady me. I mean, he took my settler at the <laughs> first, first bit of the game. I'm fighting him. <laughs> he attack. He's he's attacking me. That's toadying. Oh shit, my tank. No, my tank. That's <laughs> dead. I miss him. Duncan, I sent you a deal. A toady deal. Oh. Toady strikes again. Only reason Lewis is winning. That's, a, that's like a good looking deal, I guess. I don't know if it helps. I can use, I can use some, some combat toadying. Some combat toadying. I don't want to micro units anymore. Yeah. A new wave of boys. I've got some foreign volunteers. Cool, help, come and help. Some Irish volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh, I know I know this war ain't for us, lads, but we're going in anyway. We like your spirit. <laughs> Petro, I've got a proposal for you. Okay, what is this? If I do it, I can end your suffering. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Potato. I will end your suffering as swiftly as possible. Dude, don't worry about it. Potato just um, paid for the premium suicide boob option. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Oh no, what have you given him? What's you done? What kind of trade is this? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry trade. about it. You, you're fine. Continue your war. <laughs> Duncan's thin blue line is really holding here. I haven't really got enough to break through it, I don't think. I have used three nukes on your army. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Spiff is going to win in 15 turns from the famous culture victory. Okay, right. So that's ages. It's, it's not It's not that long. Nah, if I don't nuke him again. To be fair, you nuking me actually changed nothing, Daltos. <laughs> <laughs> Other than killing oh. half the population of my capital. When are you going to win your tourism victory, Duncan? No, I've got 190 turns on Spiff. Oh, really? Yeah. You've got 846 tourism? Yeah. But he's got the internet and the firewall, I didn't. Oh, he's got 1,300. He's got the firewall, so my internet's useless, you know. But if we take you down, Duncan, then Spiff wins the tourism. The Spiff instantly wins, yes. All right, turn around. <laughs> Let's kill who? Who am I killing now? Tony's assemble. <laughs> oh, no, my victory is to take your capital. I could do this. But Spiff is the only one with an actual victory that's, that's coming soon. To put this into perspective... 15 turns time. That is an hour and a half's time away. Real world time, Lewis. I want to be in bed by that time. <laughs> okay, I'm tired sorry. and I'm hungry. Okay, sorry. Uh, right, hang on. Let's, let's, let's see the spaceship parts that Daltos has put up. Don't worry about it. Uh, details. Okay, so Daltos has two two engines and a, and a status capsule, I guess, or whatever that is. Co yeah, he needs to get a text, though. No, 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 like two out of the three boosters. I'm almost certain he's already built the third booster, right. just not put it in. Yeah. But the big thing is the, the two last bits. They're the big ones. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit scary. You did lose a city, though. To get the, those, but you need the stasis chamber, which is like nanotech, and the engine, which is particle physics. Repeal Island passes. Hooray. Boo. You can mm. trade again. What a beautiful day it is. I can have money again. Actually, freedom, freedom is really good at making money. I was so broke in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom is the best. Oh, more citadels. Screw this. I'll do a cockpit too, just for fun. Mm. I'm so far behind though. <laughs> like it's crazy, but I'll do it. Just to, just so that I get on the board, you know. What you doing? I just put in a cockpit as well for my spaceship. Oh, yeah. Just to like listen, me. I'm I'm also here. <laughs> the type of thing. Everyone contributes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I can break through this like two citadel. XCOM line. Do you know what I mean? As soon as as soon as a bit of it goes down, it just comes back. Um Oh, maybe I should have got this before. Iron Fist. All units earn gold cultured sides from kills. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I really should have got that before. That would have been nice. I really should have gotten that earlier. Didn't even know that was a thing. Oh my god, units are just dying left, right, and centre. What is dying? Your units. Everything. Your your boys. I was just hearing them dying, I'm not even sure what's dying. I think I'm just crumbling here. I've got nothing left. Yeah. The yellow tide. Oh, we we tried. It was good. It was good. Good try, guys. Yeah, for sure. 
Great engineers should be able to fix everything around a city. That would be good. If you could just, if you could just like fix like a two two tile circle of all improvements, It'd be awesome. Yeah. Who just wants a peace treaty? Yeah, sure. There we go. Now, do you want a peace treaty? No. Peace in our time. <laughs> you finally. You don't have to worry about Lester's army now. I can just <laughs> send everything on you. Okay, sure. <laughs> Oh, I guess it's a space race now. All right, peace on our time. Let's go space yeah. race. Now we can end our turns really quick because we don't have to worry about moving military units constantly. Yeah. True. Did Duncan and Lewis sign a peace deal? Yeah. Well, I couldn't. I had nothing left. Hmm. Ah, uh, right. The whole front was had collapsed. I think that with the combination of like I out teched you with my tech with my air yeah. XComs, Citadel's in a good place and a choke point. I just couldn't break break it even with like with jump units plus. The multiple nukes plus Luxembourg was blocking. Oh, there was just so much, so much like in the way of, of fighting that war. It was a lot of clug cluggage. It was not for me. I couldn't, I couldn't just spread around the side. You know, I couldn't spill over because there was just too much damage from like stuff like the, like, like bombers. Plus, you've got another nuke in your city. Okay. Oh, I'm potatoes now entered the space race. My God. All right, I'll enter the space race. Really? Yeah, God God will go into space. Pope in space. Well, there's aliens we need to convert, right? Hmm. Pope in space. Well fought, Duncan. Hank, what? Well fought. Thank you. So, is it now space race time? Is what we've reached it's at this point. It's Pope space race time. Okay. Well, Daltos is ahead on that one. Very far away still. The adult, the Duncan has the engine, which neither one of us has. Well, remember that Spiff is, is very close <laughs> to winning culture. I don't think he's that close. Yeah, if we had to go attack Spiff. He is uh, eight turns, and that's going to go up every time, every turn. I think it's more likely to be like two turns. I, I genuinely can't force this up anymore. <laughs> I've got the internet. I've got the National College. I have filled every single great work slot I can have in uh, all four of my cities. He's lying. He is not lying. I could I could print screen you my, my culture sheet. It, it is... Hi, I have one for sure. space for a great writer slot um, in mm. my heroic epic, mm -hmm. and that is it. That is it. It's okay. I we can absolutely say he's close. How close exactly? I guess we're about to find out. You know, I've I've been neglecting my empire so much. I have fourteen thousand faith banked. Jeez, oh, Jesus. oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I got four thousand. Lewis, you can probably great person your way to the end of the game. Uh, I can't buy any great people of mine. With what? Which which ones? I guess I should have got like I guess I should have purchased. Oh, I should have purchased like shitloads of great generals, right? Oh, but I can only buy them once, right? Hmm. No, no, no. You can, but I think the the price increases. Maybe. No, I think. Remember, I get one of each, don't I? Do you remember? Because of my thing. Oh, the, yeah. The, the different based on what thing you have, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get one of each. Okay, so let's get them all. Unless you fully adopt honor, and then you can buy them forever. Great merchant. Great. No, I get one of each because I did the piety one. Great artist. Right. Great engineer. Can't have another culture victory, guys. I don't know how I can get any more culture than I have. I mean, how are we, how are we going to stop it? You spiff. We have to kill him in two turns, are you saying? I mean, we can't. <laughs> we can't. I mean, like... Actually, I was going to say you've got a nuke. I don't see where your nuke has gone anymore. I don't, I don't have any. I used it on, you do? on Lewis's. Where? Where? I don't have one. Uh, oh, you had it in Bird before when I saw it. No, no, I used it on you. I used it on you. When? I used it to nuke between Luxembourg. Like, hit Luxembourg and a bunch of your troops. You didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. You were just, you were just using them. I think I looked up and all my troops were dead and I just thought you just killed them using air bombers or something or fighters or something. I don't know. Oh. But nukes don't, nukes don't hurt tourist fishery anyway, though. I will if you just destroy the town that outputs all the tourists, but yeah. The actual damage doesn't do much unless... Well, some buildings could break, I guess. Mm. Oh, yeah, I need to make peace with all of the... Oh, God. Made a lot of enemy. Oh, my God, I'm at war with every single city state on the map still. <laughs> oh, this is the problem with doing... You miss things when you're not... When you're doing war, yeah. I probably could have made peace with them, but because I went through one by one... I basically ended up at war with everyone on the whole planet. Yeah. Oh, disaster. Okay. Um, you guys might also be at war with these guys. Just wanted to warn you. I, I was at war with a few of them, but I pieced them out. Mm. Reykjavik still hate me after the whole liberation debacle. As they should. This unit of Swiss guards, they were great. They were great. Cheap, plentiful, effective. Mm -hmm. I loved them. I didn't realise that 
I would actually have fun, especially after the terrible mess of a start I had at playing this Civ. Satellites doesn't make me actually be able to contact the city-states. That's interesting. I can see them, Santo Domingo and stuff, oh. but I can't actually talk to them. They have no opinion on me. Hmm. Who? Uh, for example, Paramaribo and Santo Domingo. Those city-states, like the city-states I haven't actually been to myself, don't count as discovered, even though I have, like, satellites which sees everything. No, they don't. That's fair. That's interesting. Yeah, you, you don't, you don't. You have to, you have to, it's, it's the same thing if you have a barbarian camp and it reveals them on the map, but then you still have to go adjacent to them to get introduced. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, choose research. What should I choose? Penicillin, rocketry, or atomic theory? Well, I feel like I should have got some research into atomic theory just from the spare nukes lying around my territory. Sure <laughs> <laughs> amount of nukes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Learned a lot from that. I should have, like, I feel like that was, you know, not cool. Eight. Three. Well, actually, like, looking at my infantry, like, my, my army, it's not all that bad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's not all that bad. It's just, the problem is I don't share a border with you, so I can't, like, great general in. I, I think I needed to take Luxembourg, but there was this annoying, like, buffery, switchy, swatchy city shit going on with you and Deltos, which really kind of messed with my strats. Oh, Deltos got an uh, SS booster. If you nuke him, it will destroy it, Duncan. I don't have a nuke. You've got an SS booster. Yeah. Deltos has completed SS booster. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got all of them now. He's got all of the three. Has he? I have nothing now. Mm. So what happens now? He needs the last two. I have nothing yet. I need two more. It's still really far away. He still needs to get the stasis chamber and the engine, and they are the tough ones, you know? Yeah. There's still a bunch of shit left. Yeah, and Duncan's ahead on science, so Duncan should should do I'm it. so far behind. No, because I don't think I can do it before Spiff wins a culture victory. We're about to find out, I guess. Yeah, I just, I, there's five turns left, and I need, like, five pieces of this rocket. Mm. <laughs> it's, I don't think I can make one a turn. But you've got a bunch of money, can't you? You can freedom it. I don't have any money, no. I spend it all on fucking XCOMs. Hmm. You might have to XCOM his puppies. Do you know how much they cost? They cost 2,000 each. XCOM his puppies. You wouldn't XCOM puppies. <laughs> I would XCOM puppies. I reckon if you if you get a spy in puppies, drop a load of XCOMs in there, you could just, you know, take him out. I do have the largest military in the game. Yeah, he does. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Where are because they? someone beat my ass earlier in a war. <laughs> yeah. Where are they? Yeah, and and that learned you a lesson. That really did. Uh, well, nothing teaches you like getting ass beaten. Yeah. Where is your army? Lewis, you're marching your army around trying to. I'm looking for your army. It's not on the border. Before someone says, before someone says in the comments, "Lol, Rithian said learned learned you a lesson. It should be teacherless." I know it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, it would I was not going to correct you on that because I don't actually know whether that's right or yeah, not. Yeah, it hundred percent. Well, you yourself learn something, but someone teaches you. That learned you a lesson. So he was taught a lesson, and then he learned the lesson. Yeah. No, it's more colloquial. I, I prefer your. I prefer. I prefer your version. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Learned you a lesson. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Oh, wow, great right, merchant. World leader. Oh, world leader? We, we're still quite far away. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Duncan has completed cockpit and booster. Yeah. It's the it's the stasis chamber we need to be really worried worried about. Yeah. Should there be something with the toady rule with you have to vote for someone as world leader, like if you conquer someone? No, that, that's the previous rule. That's a rule we have. We're not allowed to vote for someone else. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good rule. Or maybe it's they can give you two votes. Yeah, because we have had... I remember we have had victories in this where someone did have enough to win on their own, right? Yeah, it's happened yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's has happened. quite rare, I guess. It's very rare because you need to get... <laughs> it, I think it's just very rare until... Um... But the thing is, like, look at this. Like, Potato's got 18, Doug has got 16. You know, either of those could vote for each other and win the game, right? Yes, true. Which is kind of scary. Yeah, it is. Because all you need is two out of the six players to win. Yeah. It's not, so it's not really that scary. <laughs> it's not really that scary, no. Anyone could win the game at any time through, cult, through the Diplo thing, which is why it's bullshit. Hmm. Well, not from any time, but just yeah. the next World Congress, basically, at this point. Pretty much. How about you have to get How about you get half the votes from your toady? Round it down. No. <laughs> that's, no voting for anyone else. <laughs> no voting at all. No, I'm saying for future games. No, it's no, because it's stupid. No one likes a Diplo win. If you, if you earn it yourself, you're welcome to get it, but you can't have anyone else vote for you. Because a vote just for saying. you is basically saying, I want to lose the game and end it now. As I'm just saying it's a fun idea. 
It's not a fun idea. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> How many votes do you get for a city state? You get two. I'm just trying to find a way to win. Uh, <laughs> that depends. More later in later stages of the game, like in later eras and stuff. But a lot, I think. You get a lot for city states. Where are all your troops? Maybe a player should count as a, or a toady sh should count as a city state, right? In terms of voting. So, like, if you get two, a player can give you two. Ah. Uh. Good. This is very smart, Spiff. You've put troops all around your capital like this. If you put troops around, you can't get XCOM'd. That's why you need the nuke followed by the XCOM. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's dangerous though to do that. Because even the, the XCOM, the nuke even only leaves your city on half health. But mm. the nuke followed by the XCOM, oh, it's a powerful one-two punch. It is a one-two punch. But I wasted all of Duncan's nukes on myself. Four turns until he wins. Well, do something about Duncan. Doug was so scared of me, he had to nuke me three times. You had a lot of men. You had a lot of men. <laughs> oh my god. We can all stop Spiff right now. We're all just Duncan, I can declare war on you if you want me to. I know, if I went war with you, I would have declared war on you. Yeah, but it slows down culture, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh shit, you're right. There you go. War. Oh my god. Probably helped. Bum bada bum. I would have had a nuke I would have had a nuke in two turns. Oh well. But Spiff just put a fucking, I don't know what the fuck that was, in my land. <laughs> it might have just won in the game. Helicopter gunship, baby! No, but I just saw a thing that came up, some, I think came up that said 3,000 tourism. Oh, that's scary. Did you do a tourism bomb on him, Spiff? You tourism bombed me. Do, do, you, do you have rock bands? Oh, no. That might, it might mean that the game is, end next, is over next turn. I don't think so, but we'll find out. What's a rock band? How much does that give? 3,000, I wanted to hedge my bets. I think that, so might, I don't be, know. that might be enough. No, you're at 43,000. You need 48,000. Yeah, but that's he hasn't shown it yet, though. Oh, that's true. It won't come up. It, it might be... This might be the last turn of the game. That's what I'm saying. We'll find out. Get your XCOMs in, Duncan. You got one turn. Fight him. Pillage his lands. Pillage his lands. You might be able to take one of his outside cities, and then that will slow it down enough. I'm going. I'm literally going after one of his outside cities right now. You got to bring the guys in. This might be the last turn. No, it's not. See, we got one more turn. Is actually one more? Well, it's not ended yet, has it? So. Oh, it says it's, f it's falling now. There you go, it's falling. You're winning, what Duncan. What the fuck? <laughs> You're winning. All I needed was a war, apparently. <laughs> well, it is a pretty big deal. Oh uh, no, I, I think all that means that falling is that the rate changed, right? Downwards. The rate changed, yeah. So you got so you got big boost last turn. It was like two and a half thousand last turn. Right. But you're gonna get less this turn than you got last turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. That was dropped a nuke on one of my cities. Again. <laughs> oh, maybe you are falling then. Oh my god. Yeah, so I probably am falling. I got nuked again. Radiant's completed a booster. Any, this is anyone's yeah. game. <laughs> Nick Radiant. Why no, would you nuke Radiant? Come on. Come on. I'm he was so a behind. <laughs> He always says he's behind. He's got 53 pop city. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Me and you are basically the same Deltos. We have all the baseline space and we're going well, but our science is too slow to catch up to Stasis Chamber and that shit. That's going to take, like, I'm not even going to get there in at least forever. 13, 14 turns to get the research, and then the building is going to take like eight, nine turns because Autocracy doesn't have a way to speed build it. Order has the engineer to rush it. Freedom has a way to buy it with money. Autocracy has none of that. So Yeah, it doesn't have any way to build spaceship parts, I don't think. Yeah, we're so far away. I mean, if you want a nuke for funsies, I guess fine, I suppose. I can't I can't really argue. But nuke em. neither I think neither me Daltos are really a threat at the moment. This fucking gunship! Uh, this, this gunship has gotten six pillages off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I did that with a tank earlier and it just it like went three tiles and pillaged all of them. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh my god, you could steal its stasis chamber, Spiff. It's right there outside Snake. Oh my god. <laughs> if you can do that and kill it, holy crap, that's a huge deal if you get the stasis chamber. It's it's outside the city. Oh, he ran it in. Uh, oh no, he ran it to a fallout tile. It's gonna die a fallout. Yeah, the stasis chamber is huge. <laughs> Now he's moved it to another floating tile around the back. Yeah. It's this fucking worker who went on, on went in the city on his own. <laughs> and now I, I can't delete him. I can't move him. <laughs> so I can't put the data chamber in there. That's so oh, fucking no. dumb. Oh no, you can't launch it. It's in the wide open. You can move it to any other city and launch it from there, by the way. No, you can't. 
Can you have to put it from your capital? No, no, no. You can launch it at any city, right? No, I couldn't launch it from the one I made it. Oh, really? No, it has to it has to be in your capital, yeah, or at least the okay, my bad where you have the whatever the Apollo program. So, Duncan, that's the stasis chamber. Then you need the two boosters. Is this all of it? Have you got to win a science victory? Duncan almost have it. No, I, I, I need I need more boosters. You need two boosters. Why haven't you made the boosters earlier? Because I was building XCOMs. Oh. <laughs> I would, if you hadn't the tap me, Lewis, I would have won this game so much long time ago. You, would have, you have no idea. I'm a king slayer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. That makes me feel so good, by the way. You telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> it makes them so powerful. I snatched the jaws of victory from the, your, your, bit, your defeat hands. What? Yeah. Um, my, my defeat pants. Defeat hands. <laughs> your defeats. Your de your disgusting defeats. Oh. If I just power drop there. Oh, what? Why doesn't that work? Oh, Civ 5 such a more interesting game, huh? Yeah. It's very fun. Potato's score is out of control, but I guess you, if you don't have a victory condition in mind. Why am I at war with Daltos? I think he got nuked. Well... I haven't really been trying to increase my score for the last 10 turns. I've just been making tanks and gifting them to you and Duncan. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Is that why my money's slowly been going down? That's where these units keep coming <laughs> from. Amazing. I was like, oh, my God. I, I suddenly had a crossbow. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I just deleted it. Crossbow <laughs> and excellent. I just deleted it. I think this is why when I finally declared peace with Duncan, I was like, actually, I've got a lot of troops. I think it was all of potato stuff that he'd given. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you you'd accidentally nuke me, Duncan, so I could send in another wave. Oh. But you didn't clip me with the nuke, because that would have overwrote the 10 turns piece out. Yeah, yeah, timer. yeah. That's funny. But yeah, I think I probably have still like five turns on you before I can declare war. This could be it. The game carries on. Oh, Duncan, can you, can you do it? Stasis chamber complete. Oh, God. It's so close. He just has boosters to do, and they're the easy ones. I've got. Well, they all, they all take the same time to build. No, 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 no. They they require less, don't they? I'm pretty sure they require less. No, but you can rush them with like great engineers. Can you buy them with money or great engineers? It all takes. It all takes the same. I can't now. I haven't got any money. Oh no, Duncan, you have misplayed. Have I? Mi well, I I def had to defend myself. You know, Cuba's got two two turns. I'm gonna buy a bunch of great profits with my last money. I've got so much money. Actually, if you'd been making great profits, you might have been able to like sustain your war a little bit better. Oh my god! No, you're right, Duncan. They all cost seven fifty to build. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what you reckon? If I'd put these four great profits down, I would have gotten enough money and stuff. It would have maybe tipped the balance, right? Just enough, because it was pretty. Well, close imagine at the end. nuking puppies a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Did he? Oh, he nuked it again. There's one thing if you accidentally nuke a puppy, but to do it again? I can't. I can't drop the XCOMs on it because I didn't have a spy there. You puppy nuker. That's so dumb. If I just put a spy <laughs> there a while ago. Yeah. Oh my god, you nuked puppies! I nuked puppies and I was I had a load of XCOMs, but I couldn't. I can't go there because I've got no spy. I've now filled the I filled the towers out again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've moved troops back in. Oh my god, you had like a second wave of defensive troops. There's always Biff. an endless wave of defenseless troops. I I learned, Lewis. Look, I learned. You're learning that the the classic XCOM city defense. Bam, you did. Six pop. He could nuke your cap. Oh no, you can't nuke the capital actually off the map, can you? No, I don't no, think. You can't, kill, you can't completely kill a capital. Are you going to win this turn, Spiff? I don't know. I'm not doing anything to make it viable, necessarily. He's probably going to lose a just, lot of culture, I if assume. I, if I win, I win. But I don't know. It's it's close. It is close. I'm just going to build loads of holy sites around my capital. Because I've, I've got so many already. This was actually a really fun sieve to play, the holy mm. sites build. Yeah, I can really, see that being pretty fun. If you fun. enjoy it, you might want to try out the Sacred Groves, which is rather similar. That's Hungry's one. Mm. Oh, really? I saw there was a really interesting strat with, um, in Civ 6 with Egypt and the na natural preserves. All right, Lewis, let's send our turn. Let's see, if, let's see if it's over. Let's see if this is it. Turn 169, a glorious turn. Shift enter. Is it over? Ooh. Spiff one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, there you we did go. it. I was one turn away. Oh no my way. god. Because I had to boost it in the capital and I had a one building that turn yeah. as well. Nice. Damn, oh my god. Right at the end, he snuck it. What? Why can't we not get a culture victory? It's like 
like the last 50 games we played this it's always been a culture victory well you could have stopped them i tried i didn't have a spy well we sl- i slowed him down like it was it's like a science victory but you know that's, that's the slowest culture victory culture victory we've had yeah, in I a game yeah. of six Oh man, yeah, Lewis! Lewis was a kingmaker there for sure. That was a really good game, though. Yeah. Oh my god, what a fun game, man! You guys kind of helped him by just saying, "Hey, I surrender <laughs> instantly." Well, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that that is true to a bit. But the thing is, well, hang on, because I was completely torpedoed. I was, I had minus a hundred gold, forty unhappiness. Ultimately, right, our goal is still to try to win ourselves, right? So, yeah. me surrendering to Lewis saved me my cities, which made me at least close in on spaceship t- towards the end. Like I was still too far behind, but my goal is to try to keep myself winning. And if I had fought Lewis there, I would have lost. You could, you could see, you can see that both, both the boosters, yeah. you can see them oh, both man. there in my city now. They're sitting there. <laughs> oh my God. Two boosters sitting there. Oh man. man. But yeah, I, I had enough gold that I was just going to buy all the pieces. And then when Lewis, I know when Lewis attacked, I had to just spend it all on XCOM. I had to. You spent it all on XCOMs. Oh my god! You may have just overcommitted to that defense. So. I think you did overcommit to the XCOMs because you had way, way large an army. Once than you, you had those two used. citadels down with XCOMs in, that was like I was not getting through that. But I was also worried that uh, I was worried about Daltos because he had nukes and he was also t- attacking me at the same time. Oh, right. should we watch the replay? Yes, let's do it. Yes, yes, let's watch the replay. Ready? Three, two, one, play. Oh, so I started right in the middle, actually. Yeah. Look at that. Potato on the left, Daltos on the right, Duncan in the bottom right, Rhythian at the... Um, sorry, Spiff at the bottom. Bottom left, yeah. Oh my god, look how many cities Potato's <laughs> yeah, had of, like, turn insane. 65, like, eight <laughs> cities. Duncan, you had a lot as well. Yeah, I got seven. Six, six or seven, that, including an island city. And then it wasn't until turn like 100 and something that war started kicking off, right? Yes. So I took Spiff's city first. There you go, turn 123. And gave it back immediately. Then I took Reykjavik, started attacking Potato. And then I attacked Rhythian a bit. Yeah, it was a very short time. And then I started attacking Daltos. And then stuff started getting nuked. Oh my god, then it all just went at the end. Yeah. What happened to the city that got nuked off the map? You see that like, near the end, it just disappears. It's one of the top right ones. Yeah. And it just get, it just fills in from like with borders mm. expanding. Oh, I see. It, it did have a red, but then it just has nothing. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think at the end of this game, I'd like to congratulate um, uh, Potato on the Rambler victory for highest score. Lewis <laughs> on the bullshit Negotiated board game victory of, of, victory. <laughs> of Fate Conquest. Congratulations, <laughs> you got the closest. It was Spiff getting the get, Spiff getting the firewall first one in the game. I was aiming for it as well. I think I I like, spent too much time getting other techs. Mm. I think I think going for the firewall first is actually probably the best play you can make in a culture victory, unless you can guarantee mm. you will win before your opponent can build it, which yep. is really hard to do. Anyway, right, that's me done. God, what a game. That was a long one. Checking in seven hour, 50 minutes on the audio recording. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us, everyone. That was a pleasure. Um, it's a shame there isn't a, a chart which shows how many units were killed, because, wow, yeah. <laughs> units lost tab would be pretty insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, units lost and units killed. But yeah, thank you, everyone, for joining us. The, the military might yep. tab is the interesting yeah. one. Let's look at my military might. It was pretty much up there the whole time. Who knew Who knew that would be a, a, a win condition? Yeah, there's so many little things that I could have done that would have won me the game, like declaring war on Spiff like three turns earlier. Probably would have done it. Yeah. All I needed, all I needed was one turn. <laughs> that was it. That was so close. All of your min-maxing throughout the entire game, I guess it all goes to show, you know, everything, every little counts. My critical error was giving Lewis those Fenians because he just turned around and used them on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, did. I did just grind him straight back into foil potato. <laughs> That's so bullshit. <laughs> How did this bite me in the ass? Says man who handed enemy a knife. Oh well, it was it was worth it. It was great. No, it it was it was completely necessary. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. This is great to be playing Civ again. And well done on your win. Uh, Spiff. Cheers. I forgot who won there for a second. (laughs) It doesn't doesn't feel like anyone won this game. This was a close, good game of Civ 5. It was a really close game. Alright, see you next time, everyone. See you around, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.